We are fresh out of the shower, and today we're going to use some awesome sauce from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, uh, matching splash as well. Uh, the scent on this is Corasso Green's Aftershave, or it's as similar to that as it can be. Um, that's Chris Bailey's head, I'm CDB's head right there. Uh, we'll be using the Razor Rock 24 millimeter Barber Synthetic Knot here. And we'll use the Yuma sent by Alex. Uh, the blade that we will put in the Yuma, there's nothing currently in here. But we will go with one of the Wilkinson sore blades. I don't know, I don't know which is which to be honest. One comes from the saloon pack, one comes from the five pack. I don't know, what does any mean my mode? I'll go with this one. Um, so that's what we're gonna put in here. I have some blades down here on the counter that I've accrued over the past several DE shaves in here that seem to still be doing well, so I don't see a reason to dispose of them just yet. So we'll keep using them until they feel a bit tuggy. As you can see, we have some growth here, um, a little over two days. I think it's like two and a half days. Good, alignment's good on both sides. Yuma is ready to go. Let's wet our face. And we will begin loading up our brush. The brush is also damp now. So let's go ahead. Oh yeah, nice, clean, fresh, like, not zesty, but there's like a, there's something there. Um, nice, clean, fresh, and a little bit of, I don't know, kind of greenish, green zestiness, I don't know. We'll go ahead and get some good load here. This is the CK6 formula. Um, as you guys saw me shave last time with, not the CK6, what, what was that? Um, it was the regular formula. I don't remember what, uh, what soap it was. But anyway, yeah, it was perfectly fine. No issues with the normal formula either, so. Uh, we have the hurricane coming uh, this weekend. Well, I don't know, man, it's so weird because it was supposed to come, it was supposed to be here on Monday and then, sorry, the water. Supposed to be here on Monday and then they said, well, it's moving a little slower, so maybe like middle of next week. And then they came out like the following day, that was on Wednesday, the following day, they, uh, Thursday. Well, it's moving a little faster now and it's probably gonna be like a category one or two by the time it makes landfall. And um, it should arrive sometime, you know, sometime Monday, Tuesday. And now it's apparently moving much faster and they're thinking it's going to be, um, it's gonna be, it's gonna make landfall like Saturday, uh, Sunday evening or Monday morning. And it's supposedly going to be a category four now. So, um, yeah. It's kind of just all over the place. So we'll see. Um, I'm not super close to the shore. I'm on what's called the North Shore. So we're not like right next to the water or any, by any means. And... Um, very pasty. Well, the last time I remember having something this severe was Katrina. I was 15 in high school, or was I 16? I was 15 or 16 in high school at that point in time. Um, even Katrina didn't do a whole lot of damage. So I'm hoping it's going to be similar situation. I mean, where we are, you know, I mean, yeah, New Orleans, Baton Rouge, Covington, Mandeville, Slidell, like those areas could be slammed. And that's very unfortunate for those areas and those people in those areas. But where I'm at, I, I, we should be okay. That, that can completely change, I have no idea. We can't predict the future by any means. We could just pray, hope for the best, you know. So hopefully everything does go okay. You know, the thing is, we could say, well, hopefully it turns and goes somewhere else, but like somebody's gonna get affected. So it's gotta happen to somebody, right? At this point in time, there's no like determined. 
So we'll see. I'll keep you guys posted on my Instagram as long as I have an as long as I have an internet connection. I don't see an issue with that. Um, so as I'm recording this now, it's Friday evening. Um, I got off of work at five today and went to go. I mean, I have a half a tank of gas, and I think my wife has a half a tank of gas. Not ideal in any any way, shape, or form. You ideally have both filled up. Well, we um, were not notified by our boss that we could leave early, although he didn't show up to work at all today. And when he called me at like 5, 10 or so this afternoon, he, uh, he had just finished filling up his tanks and said, yeah, that was like the last of the gas in the area. And I'm like, okay, well, thanks for like... You know, letting us get off early to get some gas. But anyway, um, yeah, so we'll, I'll, I'll deal with that next week. Depending on um, if there's any necessity of gas and I don't have it, um, there will definitely be some, some words had next week. But that is what it is. I'm not going to think about it now because that will just piss me off. Anyway, this is becoming a very, very nice lather. You can see the sheen on it. It's very nice. So, we're just going to keep pumping water into this. Something I learned really early on with PAA in, uh, in particular, and sometimes even with um, sometimes even with Ariana and Evans, it just depends on how, how like saturated your brush is with how saturated your brush is with uh, water. But most of the time with Ariana and Evans and <laughs> almost all the time with this, you know, you load heavy and you kind of build up the lather. And this is one of those multi-layer feeling, like multi-layer density, but like single layer look type of lathers, which, which work extremely well when you're straight razor shaving. Not so much an issue today, we're using the Yuma, but. So yeah, I hope everybody's doing well. Um, hope everybody is safe and happy and healthy because without that, you know, we don't have anything without our health, right? So. Hope no one's having to um, deal with like um, having to lose their job or do something that is against their will. You know, I hope that's not going on with any of you guys watching this. In my opinion, everybody has a, their own choice to make. And, you know, none of us can make a choice for it, anybody else. We can all have our opinions on this, that, the other thing, whatever. But at the end of the day, We cannot make choices for our brothers and sisters in the community, um, in this nation, or in the world, period. So, I think we're getting a little out of hand with, uh, I think we're overreaching a little bit. I think some, some people and the GOVT period, which is short for you know what, it's kind of overreaching in some, some areas. All right, Yuma, let's go. Expecting this to be a really good shave. We have a nice, like I said, two and a half day buildup of uh, growth. Oh yeah, this Wilkinson sword is doing some work. Wow. See, after I drove around a little while trying to find gas, whatever, uh, after work, I um, came home and I just started like picking up things outside. We don't have, hmm, I hit a little bump there. 
we don't have a whole bunch of stuff outside. You know, we have the the grill, that type of thing. But I'll just I'll just tie that to one of our back posts, and that should be okay. But um. When I'm really, we're supposed to be getting like, I think they, I think they estimate anywhere between 50 and 80 mile an hour gusts. And I think they said a sustained, um, sustained 40 to 50 mile an hour winds at all times. Oh boy. Yep. I think what is good for us though is the wish this thing would stop bleeding. The system is moving pretty fast. So if it comes, hits, and then gets the heck out of here and like degrades to a tropical storm or just you know bad weather elsewhere, perfect. And um, you know, minimal casualties, etc. Minimal property damage, that type of thing. That's the best we can hope for. Um, so, yeah. Just hope it kind of like moves through, does whatever it needs to do, and gets the heck out of here. And I think it will. I think it will. You know? At least I'm going to look at it in that, in that light until, you know, something else happens. Wow. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. We also have the fight this weekend, the Jake Paul versus Tyron Woodley fight, which is also supposed to be on Sunday night. So it's like, man, shoot, I really hope I don't lose power. Because I want to see, I want to watch that fight. But, you know, it. If I lose power, I'll, I'll be able to watch it after the fact. It's just, you know, it's not the same as watching it as it happens. So that'll be interesting. That'll be that'll be fun to watch as long as we keep power. That's the main thing as far as, like, around where I am. Um, the area that I'm... My house is on a pretty high slope. So we've never had water anywhere near the house or even in front of the house where the road is. We've never even had water over that. So I'm not worried about the flooding, which is the main thing. Um, after that, you have wind damage. You know, that, that that's a possible threat that we could face. You minimize that by just picking up everything. Um, the other thing is power. You know, we could lose power for several days. During Katrina in 2005, like I said, I was 15 or 16 years old. I was a freshman or sophomore in high school. It's sad that I don't remember that. It was a long time ago, but. Um, geez. We, we were out of power during Katrina for, I think, I want to say a week and a half. We were out of power at my parents' house. Which, I don't know. Around that time, I was big into online games, and so I would always come home and play games. Well, obviously without power, you're not doing anything. And so there was no power. I did have some friends that lived close, um, so we hung out, but like, I don't know, that gets... That gets boring after a while because how many times are you going to run around and shoot fireworks at each other or whatever, you know, whatever we did back then. And um, 
you know, ride our bikes through the neighborhood, pick up, pick up limbs and whatever. You can only do that so many times before it's like, okay, that's boring. So I remember that vividly. Um, I don't know. I just hope it's not. <laughs> I just hope it's not as severe as like they're predicting. So, and like I said, I think we'll be okay. Um, if we lose power, it'll it'll probably be for a couple of days. Just is what it is. We live out of city limits, so um, there's no like hospitals right next to us that we get bumped on immediately, anything like that. So that's the that, that, that's like the worst thing, right? Losing power, especially with a kid. If it were just me and my wife, I don't care. You know, it's it's hot during the day, but you know, at night it cools off. But just with the kid, you know, the, having having his food, having everything kind of like ready to go. So, yeah. No tugging whatsoever from this blade, which is pretty crazy. Because that was a good bit of growth. But. That's enough about me, though. I've talked this entire video pretty much about me and what's going on here. Let's, let's talk about you guys. So what shaves have you guys uh, had recently? Good, bad, what were the products that you used? Hmm, I know what I want to ask you. I have soaps in my den that I use. And when I use them, I have a much better shave with these specific soaps than I do with other soaps. Um, so I'm wondering if you guys have the same thing. And you don't have to name names if you don't want. I will. I feel like PAA, Ariana and Evans, Sterling. Um, Shannon's, I'm probably missing one or two, but I feel like every time I use those soaps, I get like really, really good shaves. Very smooth shaves. It's not just that it's slick. It's like, it's providing something else to my skin. Ooh, very nice. We are completely smooth. A couple weepers here and there. The only actual bad one though is right there. We uh, grilled some chicken tonight. Well, my, my wife uh, seasoned it. I grilled it outside. Had um, sweet potato, broccoli, um, uh, 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 I I ate. We have these little mini. You guys know what I'm talking about the little miniature bag. Well, I see miniature. The little miniature bag of chips. I ate some Doritos and um, we had. Uh, did I say broccoli? Broccoli, sweet potato, and chicken. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we have left. Some good lather. Good lather there. Definitely enough for maybe a half pass. But you can see. Just look at the. Look at the peak. I mean, you know. This stuff is, this is some good stuff, and it's vegan. That's kind of crazy. To me, it's kind of crazy that Doug and Fran have come up with a formulation that's this good being a vegan base. I would definitely put this in my S tier. Maybe I'll come up with that one day. Maybe I'll make, um, I mean, not that anybody cares, but like, I'm curious of where I would put things from a tier from like S 
down to A, B, C, D, and maybe F. Maybe that's what I'll do. And just put soaps in there. We all know what is going to be in my F category, right? Starts with doctor, ends with poop. Yep. Dr. Squatch. All right. So let's go up to the matching splash. Very, very nice. Some definite burn there. Right here. A mm, little bit on this cheek. I don't know why. That's it. Woo. Oh man. Smelling good. Feeling good. Alright guys, that's it. Appreciate you guys watching. Um, yeah, let me know what you've been shaving with, if you've had good shaves, bad shaves. Um, if there's like specific soaps that you have better shaves with um, on a consistent basis, back to back to back, as opposed to some other soaps, etc. I'm going to wipe away these little weepers that are popping up after the alcohol touched the skin. I'll probably let this dry a little bit and then throw on some Trumpers uh, balm. Oh, something else that I will post um, on my Instagram. I'm gonna post. I'm gonna try to get this video up tonight, Friday night, or maybe Saturday morning, one or the other. And then I'm gonna post. I have a list of um, a list of uh, artisans that I have not tried yet that I'm gonna post to you guys on Instagram. Okay, you have to follow my Instagram. Not that you have to follow my Instagram, but if you want to look at that list and vote, you'll have to look at the Instagram. And then I'll kind of like talk about it on the next shaving video. My top. I'm going to post six artisans that I have never used, and I'm going to have you guys pick three. And the top three soaps that are picked um, out of that list of six will be the three that I'm going to purchase. I'm going to purchase three soaps from three different artisans, one soap from each artisan, three soaps total. And um, once we get that list, I'm going to go day by day and have you guys pick which scent you'd like me to try. And then the scent from that artisan will be the one I buy. So anyway... Um, unless it's something that I'm just like, I know I'm going to hate, I won't buy it. But other than that, and, uh, so yeah, I'm trying to keep, I'm trying to keep you guys kind of like in the loop and kind of keep you, you know, interacting and, 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 and try to make this channel a bit more interactive, I'm trying to keep you guys like, I don't know, part of it as opposed to just like watching this. Um, it's a little hard to do live shaves now with the baby. Anyway, I'm rambling. Sorry. Um, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching as always. Thanks for spending some time with me. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next shave.